every experience I've had with him in person has been phenomenal. He's been so awesome to talk to, yeah. so very personable, and he's so much a, a fan of comics as he is a comic creator. Right. And I think that's kind of one of the things that you know, every time I've met him in person and we've chatted comics or anything like that, it's been cordial. He did block me on Instagram, which I don't know why. <laughs> I, I don't know yeah, what happened what there. That, I don't what, know. What the I'll heck know. is that, man? I'll, I don't know, but if I ever have his audience again, I'll definitely have to ask him if he knows. Yeah, that. you'll have to It may have been him. another Johnny C and and like he, he saw you as like, oh, it's that smirched guy. smirched my good name. <laughs> yeah, could be. Better find him and beat him up. It's like the Super Nazi. <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a pacifist. I saw I, I saw um, a stream of, with Rob Liefeld on it, and it's like, oh my god, this guy's a mix of hyper and old man cranky. <laughs> yeah, he's interesting because when I I met him once, and I talked to him for a few minutes at Rhode Island Comic Con, which was like a I don't know, uh, three four years ago, and um, he. Uh, I could tell like he's a little testy with some people like he just but like you know with the fans he's he puts on a show you know and uh but he was nice to me and you know we talked about a, the Deadpool movie and stuff and there was a guy that uh in the stream that uh tried to suggest what price he should he should sell a commissions for okay and he told him to get the f out <laughs> oh really <laughs> and he goes hey, hey let them he let him know hey hey why when you leave we're still going to talk about you <laughs> that's great <laughs> oh shoot it's interesting though and then he and then he has a good sense of humor about like the his bad proportions when he does his artwork and stuff so i don't know he's interesting you know dude what, though i can point to so many different comics in the 90s where they had no concept of fucking the human anatomy yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. You know, yeah. like uh, you know, where characters had necks that looked like Reed Richards, you know, where it was just inexplicable, or you know, their faces were scrunched where they looked like a toaster. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Right. To kind uh, of bounce a- off of what Roland is saying right here is like that's also another thing to keep in mind is like Rob Liefeld was able to hit deadlines. He was able to meet deadlines, mm-hmm. and like you have to cut corners sometimes to meet those deadlines. So, yeah. yeah. On top of that. He was handpicked right out of high school by yeah. by uh, by somebody at, at a comic con. Who was it? It was, but either way, he he got in, he got an in at like DC Comics or Marvel right out of high school. Yeah, remember that original? Was it Hawk and Dove? He did like the yep. original miniseries yeah. there. Yeah. There would have been he a changed young that. Blood. He changed Hawk and Dove and yeah. made it, you know, modernized it for the era. At the time, yeah, yep, yeah. Um, yeah. speaking of uh, cutting deadlines, Brandon, uh, my my cousin Roger was with me this weekend at the Comic Con. We were going through an issue of, I believe, it was New Mutants or something to that effect, or it could have been X Force. And uh, Larry Stroman was the artist. Oh, and, okay. And and it was funny because it's like there's things you can do where it looks like aesthetic. But it's also cutting corners. Like he'd have a shot of Polaris, and her face was in the center of the panel, but everything filling dead space was just her hair. Like how wild uh, her yeah. her green hair is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Or there'd be a, a shot of Strong Guy, and it would be his Strong Guy's you know very unique face, but then everything surrounding and filling that panel would be muscle mass. So mm. it's like they did a good job of occupying space with dead space but to make it look like it's part of the aesthetic of the panel yeah dude i like i like i wish larry you know, stroman would do more work in the industry he was great there there, there would have been also a, a young blood if he hadn't got, got picked up by marvel and dc they actually advertised it in uh what was that uh, megaton man comics Oh, when was this? It was his. It was, it was a little prior to DC, but he couldn't actually go through with it because he's already um, obligated with Marvel and DC. So, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. I know. I mean, yeah, he's definitely a character, man. I, you know, he's one of those guys I always look forward to hearing something from. You know, and I'm a, I'm not big on his art, but I, I can respect his place in the comic history, you know, and it hit me at the right place at the right time. Yeah. Like I think like he, he served a purpose getting a, 
a whole generation interested in comics, you know, at that right time, along with McFarlane and Lee and all those guys, like, you know, so you got to give them that, you know, yeah, you hero, that. hero, that hero, there, yeah. hero in the nineties, then somehow for some reason vilified in, in the two thousands. So, yeah. <laughs> right. Like only 10 years later. <laughs> it's so wild. Like, but image made Marvel and DC so uncool at the time, you know? So like, it's interesting, you know? Yep. It's the history of all the comic stuff is really, you know, fascinating over the years. Like feels like this the industry goes through a change like almost every five years or something. There's like a whole no, new yeah. era of Sorry something. For me is about to take you on an incredible journey into the realms of science fiction, fantasy, and horror. Interviews with writers, filmmakers, artists, and actors. Conventions and fandom. Previews and reviews of movies and television. Sci-Fi For Me is working to be the most popular science fiction magazine in the solar system. Subscribe now and enter the fantastic world of Sci-Fi For Me, delivering the multiverse since 2009. <laughs>